So what's good? So y'all know what it is. So this is your girl. So look, as the years went by and, you know, T.D. Jakes, you know, I visited his church one time and, you know, I always sensed it was something about this man, you know, and I kind of knew that he was like, you know, false prophet, you know, see, you know, false, you know, just, he was just real crossed up and stuff like that into a lot of things, you know, and then, um, uh, we visit the church, you know, this is like, you know, eight, nine years ago, we visit the church and, you know, he was like separating, you know, people that pay tithes, you know, they had special privileges, you know, and people that did not pay tithes, you know, had to sit to the back, you know, and, <clears throat> He also had an area like for the kids, like it was like upstairs. The kids had to be upstairs and it was like, uh, so like a big old glass, you know, glass, you know, so like a bulletproof, you know what I'm saying? Soundproof, not say bulletproof. I won't even sound that violent, but it was, um, soundproof you know so because you know kids cry and you know he didn't want the interruptions so you know kids have to go up there so he was like oh okay so this is how it is you know but <clears throat> he was real heavy on the tithes and offerings uh you know you, you uh, can't get no assistance from this man you know you can't talk to this man for anything you know he's not available you know and you know these people you know putting their money into him, putting their faith into him. And then when you need assistance, you know, he's not there and available to help, you know. So that there, you know, as time went on, I was like, you know, this pastor here, you know, I don't really feel that church, you know what I'm saying? But I went to visit Dallas, I was like, I, I don't, mm -mm, I'm not feeling him. So, uh, but now he got this scandal coming out, you know, about him. He got the scandal, you know, coming out about him that, you know, he's a bottom feeder. You know, he's a bottom feeder and, <clears throat> you know, he's been to, you know, Diddy's, you know, private parties and stuff like that, you know. He's been seen, you know, in arm and arm and, you know, hand in hand with, you know, Diddy, you know. And we all know all the allegations right now with P. Diddy, okay. Ain't nothing good about him right now, okay? So, and Diddy has, you know, done a lot of damage in the industry with these boys and got these boys fruity dinner loop. You feel me? So, <clears throat> but it is what it is, you know. These guys is fruity, fruitier than a loop, you know, and you can see it in their behaviors and their mannerism, okay? But anyway, so T.D. Jakes, you know, responds to the scandal, you know, you know, and uh, he's not really being forthcoming about it, you know, about everything, but we all know what it is, you know, we already know what it is. He's already been judged, you know, uh, but I think uh, he should have done a little more, you know, uh, he should have been a little more convincing than that bull crap that he spit out. You know, it was just stupidity at this point. But anyway, my recommendations is uh, worship at home and see, uh, I don't go to churches because there's too many of them coming out now, liking, you know, liking boys and, you know, doing things like that, you know. So I don't go to churches because uh, when you need them, they're not available and they always got their hand out. And they're played out, you know, looking for money and funds and stuff like that. So I don't put my trust in these men because most of them is just there for the money. They're not leading you to the truth. They're not leading you to uh, heaven. They're leading souls to hell, okay? And it is what it is because they're not telling you nothing, nothing of value, nothing of worth, okay? Because these people are lost, okay? They're lost. They have no discernment. They have no judgment. And they're following a devil, a demon, okay? A pedophile, okay? All that wrapped up and then some, you know? So it is what it is. So, you know, 
I don't do churches. I will never do churches ever again. I am more of a spiritual person. And my, uh, me and my relationship with the Most High is with the Most High. It's not with, you know, these pastors, you know, taking money, want tithes and offerings, want this and that. And they living in these dang on mansions and, you know, doing what they do, living a life in the dream, you know. So, off of the church money, you know. But I always knew it was something, you know, fugazi about this man. But now, because anybody knows, if you're hanging with Diddy, <clears throat> if you're at Diddy's parties, if you're doing anything like that in Diddy's company, then you are fruity, allegedly, okay? You are fruity because, first of all, you're not going to hang with him. No real man is going to hang with any man, you know, that, you know, is known to have been with another man. No real G would do that, you know, so I'm not understanding that part either, you know, why would you hang with Diddy when you know what's going on with Diddy, you know, and this stuff with Diddy is just not now in 2023, all this has been going on, you know, it's just now coming out and coming to light, you know what I'm saying, so this is what it is, but no real man is going to be Going to Diddy's parties, hanging with Diddy, doing anything with Diddy. Because they know what Diddy's about, okay? Diddy is about that booty, okay? It is what it is. But let's hear what uh, T.D. Jakes had to say, you know, because, you know, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. We got to hear it. I've been in a store, I've been up up in the I'm fine. He that is with me is more than all those that are against me. I'm fine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. Come on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good because I know the truth. When you know the truth, you ain't got to be nervous, you ain't got to be uneasy, you ain't got to be in trouble. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can't do this 50 years that I ain't been in a fight. Ain't been in a storm, ain't been up under attack. I'm fine. He that is with me is more than all those that are against me. I'm fine. Glory to God, hallelujah. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. Come on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good because I know the truth. When you know the truth, you ain't got to be nervous. You ain't got to be uneasy. You ain't got to be in trouble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can't do this 50 years that I ain't been in a fight. So really, you know, uh, he's not really talking about anything, you know. He's not really talking about anything. You know, he's really just going at it in that light, in that way. But uh, we know, you know, it's more to it. But it was something else he was saying also. Uh, but we know what time it is, you know. We know what time it is. We know what time it is. So, with that being said, you know, he's not really saying much, but it was another video where he was saying where, you know, his lawyer advised him not to speak, you know, and he don't want to speak because he know he's going to be judged by the masses, you know. He's going to be judged by the masses and... He know that uh, he will be held accountable, you know, for his actions. And yes, you are under attack. You are under attack and karma is here to collect, okay? And that's just what it is. And, you know, like I said, it's a lot of these black men that will be going down, okay? A lot of these high-power black men 
will be going down, okay? And they're going out cold. You know, they're going out bad. You know, reputation tarnished, you know, manhood just gone, just taken away from like that, you know. So, but it is what it is, y'all. This is your girl. You know, y'all can continue to, you know, indulge, engage in these churches and sit there and listen to these people that's out there uh, living uh, lives that they shouldn't be living, you know, because they're teaching the truth and they should be living the truth, you know. Don't teach it if you're not going to be living it, you know. So this is what we're seeing right now, you know, in these churches. They're all about your money. They just want your money. And they just pool, pit, pimps, okay? That's all it is to it. They just want your money. They're not going to lead you to where you need to go to the kingdom. They're going to lead you to the pits of hell. And it is what it is, okay? So... Just take that for what it's worth, you know. Y'all continue to get up and go spend your money at these churches and do all that and do all this here and paint up into, you know, demon activity, you know, at the same time. But we're not going to, you know, you know, go on, you know, no, 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 no about that. We already know what that's hitting for. People are going to do what they want to anyway. But it is what it is. If you're in the company of Diddy, then you are subject to scrutiny okay you are subject to scrutiny okay it is what it is if you're not that type of person then you're not gonna associate with those type of people okay it is what it is this is your girl peace out